Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Crafty Cauldron. This is Jo Beth Sexton and today I have a flick through of a new journal that I have made. It is a mini journal and its theme is snakes. See? Anyway, so this journal measures, uh, of course I'm not prepared with a ruler because, well, I just cleaned up. Can't find a thing. <laughs> Okay, so this journal is about seven inches tall and five and an eighth wide with a half inch spine. And the spine has been reinforced with grosgrain ribbon and um, fabric. And it is a softish cover. It's, it's made out of very, very stiff uh, and reinforced cardstock. So first we have, um, it has a tiny little beaded tassel hanging from the um, spine and that is, is part of the binding threads. I just pulled them up and pulled it up and, and put the t beading on it. It's seed beads. Let me see if I can get a good picture of that for you. There we go. Seed glass, seed beads and uh, in various colors and some of them are iridescent. It's really pretty. Um, the tie is made from uh, seam binding with tool sewed on the outside because I thought it looked a lot like snake skin. It's not snake skin as this is not snake skin. It's fabric, but we've got the whole snake theme going. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Again, this is a mini journal. Um, also, I have a tail at the bottom of the spine right here. Um, I like putting little tails like that down there just for um, a little something different. So here we have inside, and the first thing we have is a double belly band with a tissue paper envelope and a second envelope that is paper and it's been inked. And then a third envelope, which is also tissue paper, but it holds a little tiny stamp with a little snakey on it. And that's just for interest. You can write on it with a gel pen, a white gel pen or a neon colored gel pen, no problem. It's made out of cardstock. Then on the next page we have, oh, there's a lot of stamping in here and a lot of unusual elements. There's some fabric and some textile, textile borders and, and um, trims and some sewing. So all through here, um, I'll just point those out to you. So here we have a pocket, uh, the pocket's made from a paper pack and this is from um, Art Digitals. Um, it's a, an old, it's like an old, um, a specimen picture is what it is and then we have a little bit of textile here glued under this little snake picture on the side we have some script stamping and a half page with a another snake and there's a little bit of a fact right there about the snake this folds out and there's a bunch of stamping on that as well it folds very far so you've got a lot of journaling space there then we have this page which has a um a picture of two snakes and this is a really unusual journaling card the back is blank and the front has various other um, papers on it some are from let's see they're from paper packs and then this one is from uh, digital droplets on Etsy and I will try to remember to link everything that I talk about digital droplets is a really cool store they've got a lot of nice things this actually has two pockets it's got a pocket in the front and then it's got another pocket right there, but they're hidden. One of them is hidden. It looks like there's only one, but I like to put little hidden things in my books. Then we have on this page, a little altered paper clip. I'll hold that up for you, a little altered paper clip. And when you take that off, this little guy folds down for more journaling space. And then there's a little tag here. It's a tea tag. It says, he who wants a rose must respect the thorn. It's a Persian proverb. And I believe it, it uh, went really well with the theme because, you know, snakes are beautiful and, and sometimes you, you forget they can be dangerous. And even if they're not poisonous, they can still be dangerous. So this is another one of the pockets out of the paper pack and then stamping. And this is a journaling card, but it has a hidden journaling card and writing space on the back and I got this idea from Mad Paper Crush you guys if you don't know Mad Paper Crush go see her YouTube videos she is awesome 
Um, then I have this little round pocket right here. There's two, actually two. It's a tuck and a pocket. So you've got two little pocket thingies there. You can put these either way, the long one in the front or the long one in the back. And um, it's a dictionary page. They're covered with dictionary page and you can write on those. And then you can write, of course, on this page. This page is a uh, piano roll. And then this snake is, is kind of sort of hidden behind this altered paper clip. He looks like he's peeking out of the, the holes in the piano roll. And then this is the other side, and it's got a pocket and another journaling card that's been embellished. This is all hand by hand, and glued that on there and made it look like a snake. Back is blank. Let's put that back in there. And then the paper clip is, it's a double, it's got two sides. So you put that on there, and it holds the card inside there. And we've got some textiles and stitching here, a little picture of a blue snake. There's some more stamping and journaling space. On this page, there's a half a pocket. These were two short pages. So I glued it halfway down and made a pocket. And this is another little journaling card with a snake, it's a cobra. And then this journaling card, which is another cobra. So we've got a cobra theme on that page. And Another journaling card that's been stitched around and a tuck spot that came from a book actually and that's stitched on. Um, more stamping and a journaling card here that's stitched around and it's a, made out of a book page with an extra piece of paper and it's been stitched around as well. And there's another snake here. I don't even know all the names of these snakes but they're all very beautiful. There's another little flippy tuck and a page with the stamping. This has got uh, coffee dyed with a little the shadow of a, of a lace uh, paper doily. There's the other side. It's a little bit more of an imprint. And then we have another journaling spot here. Flips out to another round journaling card with a snake on it. Then we have the next page is blank and stitching textiles here. I thought the green went rather well with this big old picture and I believe that's a boa constrictor and then a lined page for you to write on. Then there's this. This is an old, it's a vintage uh, print, and I don't remember the store, but I can find out and put it in the video description. Um, and it's a poster. And then behind there is a, is another one of these specimen type pictures on a journaling card. This fits right back in there. More journaling space. And I gotta warn you, some of the the pictures in this in this book are a little bit graphic if you don't like uh, the natural way of nature it might be a little disturbing for you but there's there are s giant boa constrictor with a um, its prey and then this is an altered paper clip here and another journaling card there back with brown craft paper and then that page also is has been left blank it's a coffee stained paper I, I, die, I stain my own coffee. Oh, heck. Oh, you probably know what I'm going to say. Um, I coffee dye my own paper, so it, I experiment a little bit. So now we have on the next page, it's a tall pocket with a three circular um, unusual tight journaling card. This page has a tuck with a shedding snake and a little um, envelope with some extra journaling papers in it. This is coffee stained paper as well. It's just a miscellaneous of the little papers there. And then there's some stamping on this page. This is made out of, this page is um, inked, but it's it's uh, parchment paper. It's Strathmore par parchment paper. On this page we have a little, it's a little uh, journaling spot. Opens up like this. And in the inside, there's a little stamp. And this opens up as well here for more journaling space. More journaling space. And then this kind of holds it all in because you can tuck that behind. There's a little pocket, kind of like a belly band back there. More journaling space, blank pages with stamping. This is a little half page with an envelope that opens all the way up. And you can journal inside of there. And it can be secret. And a little tag. This is actually a little booklet. 
and it opens up but you have to untie the top I, I didn't knot it it's just tied around once so that can be another little secret spot for you then more journaling space and stamping and some textiles and I put some more of the snakeskin fabric and tool here because it looked like a snakeskin and uh, I inked it a little bit too so it looked a little rough and then this is a little belly band with a little it's a little uh, it's from an encyclopedia child's and child's encyclopedia from 1953 and it tells a little bit about rattlesnakes this is a little snake charmer public domain image that I found it's a little tiny journaling card it goes behind that little um, that little belly band right there and this is a little unusual this is there's a slot here so I just tucked in a little tag right there and you can see it on the other side there's a little um, snake that wraps around as snakes often do and then that goes right back inside of there oh it would if I could get it right there we go and then this is a little pocket with a, another snake picture journaling card in it this is a big pocket and it's got a bigger um, picture a bigger journaling card on it in it and then more pictures of snakes with a little bit of uh, information about it, that particular snake. This is a peekaboo card. Um, I learned this from um, the Paper Outpost, Pam at the Paper Outpost, and this card has been embellished and trimmed and inked, and it's got snakes on it, but it's also got this beautiful bowl of fruit and then this textile here with that looks like a snake skin, and behind it is a little secret pocket, and then it's I've patched together some journaling space on there. And that just slides right back inside of there. Journaling space here and more stamping. And then this is a little, this is from Aesop's Fables. And the book was illustrated by Arthur Rackham. It's a very old book and it's falling apart, unfortunately. But the paper in it and the little, the little stories are really cool. So I put it on a little divider for um, like a, a Rolodex divider card. And I put another snake picture here and then a, a fussy cut snake. And you can journal on the back there. And you've got another secret spot with lined paper right there. And you can journal on the back of that one too. So, I mean, people won't even see that. You can totally have it hidden. Then on in that pocket, there is another one as well. It's a big old snake. I'm not sure what kind. But it's been stitched around with some light green thread. I thought it went kind of well with the color scheme there. And these are these pictures are from the, um, the art digitals that that I mentioned before. This is from a book. I cut it out from a book, and then uh, it's coffee stained paper. And then that's your last page. This page has some stamping, and it's it's got a, a rubber stamp that says handmade by, and I signed it. And then in the very back, there's this little notebook here, so you can take it out and put it in your bag, in your purse, your backpack, your pocket. And it's got a little pocket here with another extra journaling card there that slips right out. And then the inside is just, uh, it's like a tiny mini junk journal inside of there. And some really nice paper and a, another snake picture. So that is that. And we are at the back. And that is our snake mini journal. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, if you find that you like this type of content, please like the video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anything is from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. I really do. And um, you can share the video if you'd like. Share it on public, um, on the um, social forums if you'd like to. Um, also, I would like to say um, thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And to the subscribers who have been here previously, thank you as well. You all rock my world. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you are interested in this, it is listed in my Etsy store already. Um, so you can find the link to my Etsy store in the video description, um, and you can check this out there, and I want you all to have a great day, stay safe, sit, stay well, and peace and love.
And remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Make it a happy and crafty and colorful one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.